take a look at this. This is from over the cap, um, and it's an interesting graph. It shows you the amount of cap space remaining. So you see the Browns um, with over $42 million of cap space. Now look at the other teams that are around the Browns. Panthers, the Bears, the Steelers, the Cowboys, the Commanders, the Seahawks. You get down to the Packers, that's a pretty good roster. But the Browns have um, arguably uh, one of the better rosters in the NFL and the most cap space. Uh, 42.16 million left, that is uh, tops in the NFL. With that, let's welcome in Jack Duffin from the Orange and Brown Report. We always uh, refer to his stuff when we refer to the salary cap. Uh, 88 of 90 players signed, Jack. When you look at the Browns and the amount of cap space and the way the roster is constructed, how impressive is that? And, and you see the other teams that are by them as far as cap space remaining, those rosters aren't nearly as good. Is that fair to say, do you think? Yeah, they've done such a phenomenal job, this front office, of bringing in talent um, and looking for cheap deals as well because they haven't been rash and gone out there. And you see some teams... Um, perfect example to Jacksonville Jaguars this year start a free agency they were just throwing money around um, just signing anyone and they were spending money but not getting that quality of player you want if you're going to invest the money um, so they've been really smart with what they're doing they've borrowed some from the future and hey there'll, there'll be cap consequences down the line but it, as it stands I'd say it's pretty clear it's the most talented roster in the entire NFL can they bring it all together that's a whole other equation we'll find out when week one commences.